The important thing to remember when you are attaching your stretch sit cushion is that you want a firm vertical hold so that part of your body weight can hang off of the friction nubs. That's what's going to stretch your muscles, give them a healthy reset and create a little more space in the discs and also for the nerves to exit. So if you have a fabric chair, you could just place the pillow behind you. You don't even have to attach it. Just put your bottom back and let the pillow settle loosely on top of your rump. And then you come away and you do all your stretch sitting maneuvers, curving forward, lengthening relative to the cushion, and then attaching yourself to the cushion. And if you've got it lying on your bottom, you will have room for your shoulders to roll back and so forth. And then that becomes comfortable, healthy, therapeutic. I'm going to show this to you on another common kind of fabric chair. And that is this kind of folding chair. And again, I could just place the cushion behind me. In this case, the backrest leans a little bit far back, a little too much. And I would be better off folding the cushion in two so that the cushion comes out to meet me in a more vertical alignment that's more comfortable, more healthy. If I wanted to not fold the cushion, I could also use an extra thickness that could be a towel just placed loosely behind the cushion. This will not work if the chair is leather or vinyl, metal, wood, that would slide. The cushion would slide down and I would have to attach it, but it works in this and it also doesn't even need a very even material. It could be your jacket or your sweater to just fill in a little bit of thickness so the cushion comes out to meet you. Now, I may not want to have my cushion loose and moving. When I come away, it's going to fall and so on. So usually you want to tie your cushion if it's going to be in the same chair for an extended period. And we provide an extension strap, which makes it easy to attach to almost any kind of chair. So in this chair, I'm going to tie it so that it attaches to the legs. That's an easy way. And I'm going to loop it around the legs from both sides. It has its clasp and there it goes, but that's too low. So I adjust the extension strap so that the cushion hangs at a good height mid back. And once again, I have the option of putting my bottom back, folding the cushion in two if I would like it to meet me further forward and provide a more vertical support, or putting some kind of extra thickness, be it a towel or a sweater or what have you, so that my stretch sitting is optimized. If you have a slippery back chair like this, which could be made of vinyl, leather, wood, metal, then you need to attach the cushion firmly someplace so it has a very sturdy vertical hold. Now that could mean forming a loop if you have a horizontal bar like this and threading the cushion through that loop and then adjusting the height with the strap so that it meets you mid back. So that looks about right and it doesn't have to be very precise, just someplace mid back. And wherever you attach yourself to the cushion from that point down below is where you're getting stretch. Now since it is slippery, I might hold the cushion and lengthen to attach myself. Alternately, you might use the extension strap that is provided and attach to some other point on the chair, like maybe the mechanism. Or in this case, there's a horizontal 
bar here that could be useful. So I make the strap a little longer so it can reach all the way back and wind the strap around the bar or hang like a necklace from the mechanism and then adjust the height so that once again the cushion hangs about mid-back and you have a sturdy vertical hold that you might want to hold on to as you lengthen yourself, providing a very satisfactory stretch in your back. Using your stretch sit cushion in a car is quite simple. Um, if you have a fabric chair like I do, you could just place it behind you and that's adequate to stretch up against. But usually you would want it to be more firmly held and in that case you can hang it like a necklace around the headrest and then adjust the length of the strap to, so that the cushion meets you mid-back and that's good. Now if your car has particularly deep bolsters, these pieces on the side that push your shoulders forward or if your headrest really comes forward like a lot of modern, more recent cars, headrests, which are now called head restraints do, then you might want an extra thickness. So I happen to have another cushion here and I could put that behind me, but you could also use a, a towel or some other um, cloth to bring you away from the headrest, away from the bolsters, provide you good um, length in your back, also give you a little more room for your behind to go out behind and now you're well po poised to go for a long drive with comfort.